goes well beyond just a story about heroin. It delves into the heart of a grieving mother, the mother of this man, Jason Skinner. All she wants out of life right now are the little pieces that Jason left behind. Because every night you go to bed praying, hoping that he would live another day. Karen Zabronki knows how hard her son Jason Skinner struggled with addiction. She said her prayers were answered in God's own way. I think God helped him by taking him home. Despite rehab numerous times over the last 10 years, Jason was found dead of a heroin overdose at this travel lodge in Brook Park last November. I grieve him every hour of every day. But the hurt isn't just because of his death. Police had to get involved at the hotel. They did arrest two of the people that found him in his room and proceeded to steal his belongings and take things. That's right. While Jason was lying on the bed, dead or near death, his stuff was stolen. One person is behind bars, the other charged with a misdemeanor theft. Karen says Jason didn't own much. Addiction stole his money. His black jacket, a backpack, a cell phone. Those things are dear to me. They're, pr they're priceless, but they're probably not worth very much money. I talked to the prosecutor handling the case, and he explained there are many reasons why he can't hand over the property, including what other relatives of Jason might want. In Ohio, the law state's probate court isn't always required, especially in cases where the assets are small. Karen said she will have to coordinate now with her ex-husband and file the paperwork needed, a process adding more grief after months of being shut out from her dead son's belongings. No one knows what it's like to lose a child until they do. I'm investigator Jonathan Walsh, News Channel 5.